Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Happy Chinese New Year to you all. <coughs> Today, APA is going to make uh, pun choy. Actually, pun choy is one of the easiest things to make in the world. Uh, there's only two steps. We'll uh, blanch the ingredient, combine it together. That's all. <laughs> so, it's really very easy. So as you can see from here, actually Appa already blanched all these ingredients. So let's take a look at what are the ingredients here. Now, you don't have to follow me. You can use your own creativity. Uh, but of course, uh, usually at the bottom, you will need some veggie to really stack out uh, the, the, the pon choy. So usually they will use this radish, which is radish. And I actually use the radish to make the broth also. So later, there will be a few very short videos showing uh, the radish and how I blanch the other thing yeah so different different ingredients will have a slightly different timing of blanching but of course you will definitely start with radish to give it some base flavor okay so um, you cook the radish and then uh, this is also another thing I put it in which is the fuzhu yeah this is the fuzhu uh, my favorite and it will really really soak out the nice flavor of the uh, the broth later so this is already blanched together with the uh, radish and I actually blanched the fuzhou for pros approximately I think about 20 minutes and so how long does it take? well you, you, you just uh, taste it like if, you, if it's edible already then good enough okay so this one about 20 minutes uh, what else do I have? this is also need about 10-20 minutes I, my shiitake mushroom is actually very thick I also put in to the uh, broth um, the uh, shiitake mushrooms uh, soaking water and then what else this is a sea cucumber I actually cook it for the process using the same broth cook it for approximately about 15 minutes so it is also very flavorful of course I have some uh, nice roast pork and here we have uh, the abalone. This was actually uh, sponsored by my neighbor. <laughs> Thank you so much for her. Um, I actually use, now, um, the, do not throw away the abalone uh, brine. Use that brine, add the brine into your broth. So immediately you will become more flavorful. Usually there are two kinds of cane um, abalone, which is, the first is actually the, um, uh, clear clear broth type another type is the uh, braised type so either one you can also add in into um, the broth later yeah so after that also I blanch my prawn for approximately three minutes and then I blanch my fish maw for approximately about five minutes it really depending on the kind of fish maw you are using uh, when you cook fish uh, fish maw you do have to use some red hot water to soften it first and I have some scallop yeah also cook for about a few minutes and uh, broccoli now broccoli I did not put it inside the broth I actually separately use uh, salted water uh, with a little bit of oil and uh, blanch it for about one minute what else so that's about it uh, let me see how much how many things we put inside 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect 10. Okay, we have a perfect 10 inside the prosperity bowl, Pun Choi. It's all about blanching. Yeah, just uh, blanch or cook all your different ingredients to be uh, fully cooked at the optimum level, then combine everything together. The fuzhou here probably need about 15 minutes at least. Mushroom probably about five to ten minutes, and uh, the sea cucumber about fifteen minutes. The uh, fish maw that I'm using is a smaller one, so probably about five minutes is good enough. And of course, we have the uh, radish. Yeah, radish. I will let it keep on cooking at the bottom to create more flavor also. And this particular broth is made out of um, the brine from the um, abalone cane yeah the cane abalone the brine uh, plus some chicken stock and also a bit of uh, sauce a bit of salt it's 
is cooking the scallop for a couple of minutes. Then I'm cooking the prawn for about three minutes. Yeah, not too long. Yeah, if not the the prawn may get a bit mushy. Three minutes. The canned abalone is already cooked. Uh, so what we need is just to heat it up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to quickly blanch the. This is um, broccoli. Boil some water and um, put in a bit of salt and oil. Then put in the broccoli. Let it blanch for about less than one minute will do. Okay, then we can actually just take it out. I forgot my uh, shiitake mushroom is actually very very thick. So uh, at least to let it um, cook for a minimum 15 to 20 minutes for the flavor to really sink in. All the others is already done. Okay, so you get a small pot here. Don't, uh, don't, don't use a pot which is too big. If not, actually just now I try to use another pot too big so everything is actually sink inside. Uh, when you are making prosperity bowl, it sh everything should be overflow because you want it to have uh, overflow of prosperity. Okay, so get a smaller pot so that everything will overflow. And so first of all, the first layer is always the, this is the radish. This is going to be very sweet. Okay. And then the second layer should be the fuzhou. This will really soak out a nice flavor of the broth later. And it is actually cooked inside the broth. It has already contributed to the flavor of the broth as well. See? It has already leveled up. So that everything you put after this is going to be really overflow. So the rest, you just uh, slowly uh, decorate it into a very nice uh, manner. Okay, so I try to uh, put in as much as I can inside this so that everything looks overflow. You can the prawn, the scallop, the fish maw, the ma shiitake mushroom, the, uh, the abalone, the roast pork, and uh, the f this is... Oh, this is sea cucumber, sorry. This is sea cucumber, this is fish maw, and of course we have some greens in the middle. So the next thing is just to uh, heat up the, the broth and pour on it. Then it's done. Very simple. So this is the broth I used to blanch all the ingredients just now except for the uh, broccoli. So what's inside here? Let me see. Um, I have the chicken stock the brine from the abalone cane a bit of salt inside and of course all the flavor that released from the ingredient i use it to blanch so it is already very very flavorful if you worry if after you taste it you find it is not flavorful enough you can actually add some abalone sauce it's very easy for you to find abalone sauce from the local um, supermarket so what I'm going to do is just to heat up and I will just pour it in now. Actually, um, usually there will also starch. They will starch this broth, but I don't like anything which is starch. <laughs> so I'm not going to starch it. I'm just going to heat it up, bring it to a boil and pour it over. I prefer watery. I always prefer watery. This is my own preference. When you do it, if you want to do it more authentically, you should actually starch it, right? If you prefer it to be a bit darker in color, like uh, especially when you are using the braised abalone brine, then immediately it will become brownish. So, but I'm using the normal clear broth brine. So I'm just going to add a bit of uh, dark soya sauce to give it some braised color. This is for the color sake. Right, immediately it gives me some brownish color. It is now boiling. 
All right, after the broth is boiling, I'm going to pour over my prosperity bowl. Okay, so remember everything inside is fully cooked, already fully cooked. So what I need actually, I can straight away eat it already. Um, you can actually give it a few dashes of white pepper on top. Right? Done. Super simple pon choy. So I hope you like my very simple uh, Chinese New Year video today. If you like it, please uh, share my video onto your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Happy Chinese New Year everyone. Enjoy your time with your family. Bye-bye.